Tonight's Tina Patel is live in West Covina right now with more on this fiery traffic stop. Tina? Well, police say even though a cell phone might look harmless, officers are trained to look at everything as a possible weapon. And they say that may be why this particular officer acted the way he did. Ma'am. I'm going to cooperate, I'm but I'm right not now, putting the phone down. If you do not put the phone down, I will take that phone out of your hands. Do you understand that? You have no right to do that. An officer reaches into the car to grab no the right cell phone away from the woman recording a traffic stop. Joe Did he go too far? That's what West Covina I'm police are trying to figure out. They say Alina Aquino filed an alleged misconduct complaint against the officer, then posted the video on social media with the message, I'm only posting this to show people that it doesn't matter if you're a law-abiding citizen. The West Covina PD are so crooked, everything you've heard about them is true. Police say they pulled the car over last Thursday because it didn't have proper license plates. When they found out the driver had previous convictions for battery against an officer and was currently on probation for arson, they decided to search the car. That's when this confrontation happened. No, I'm going to hold my phone. You're not holding your phone. I am going to hold my phone because I have my rights. My mom worked for the sheriff's department. She's still working. So I don't care. Do you hear this? Do you, understand? do you see this? I do not care. Police say people do have the right to record traffic stops, and the officer wasn't trying to stop Aquino from doing that. Typically, officers want people's hands to be free from anything, holding on to anything when they come out of the car. They don't want to be struck with it. We asked a legal expert to watch the video. Each of them was trying to control the other unnecessarily. It got out of hand. He should not have reached in the car, and I you think that no this right officer to needs that. to have some retraining in how to de-escalate no right to a simple situation so that it doesn't get out of hand. Police say that may happen. You know, there may be some training points out of this. It's hard to say without doing a complete investigation. It would be unfair not only for the complainant, but for the officer involved. Aquino is also claiming officers assaulted her and her husband outside the car, writing, meanwhile, the other officer had my husband, Chris, on the floor, kicking him and punching him in his face. This was the worst, most traumatizing experience of my life. People don't deserve to get treated like this. We were fully cooperative. But police say this dash cam video shows a different version of events, that although the driver was handcuffed, there was never any kicking or punching. Now, again, our legal expert says that it is okay for you to record any of your interactions with the police, but if they want to search you, then you can't have anything in your hands. We'll send it back to you.